IR class welcomes you to the brief introduction on maritime cyber risk management. At this stage, it is important to understand the intensity of some of the recent maritime cyber attacks. As per a statement issued by Maersk, Petya ransomware cyber attack may have caused about 300 million US dollars in damages. As per Ponman Institute's recent research, almost 68% of oil and gas companies were affected by at least one significant cyber incident in recent times with many attacks assuming to be undetected or unpublished. Question on cyber security cannot be, why do I need it? But importantly, what is my risk? Other following questions that arise are, how do I manage my risk? How do I protect my business interest? Industry today is dependent on computer systems that is embedded systems, PLC for its business and process automation. For ships, it can be power generation, propulsion control, steering, ship systems, navigation and communication. For ports, it can be conveyor systems, jetty cranes, vessel traffic management services, port computers for business processes. For yards, yard cranes, automatic plate cutting machines, yard computer systems for various business processes. For offices, computer systems for business processes, communication to ships. When critical cyber systems are compromised, the business is affected. Cyber technologies have become essential to the operations and management of numerous systems critical to the safety and security of shipping, which in turn has large implications on protection of the marine environment. How does a cyber attack happen? There are two parts. First, external path. Software programs created by hackers can destroy the data or send data without user knowledge or log the data for ransom or alter the program without user consent. Threat path is through the network. Second, internal path. It can be either due to the internal issues or unintended operations that is software maintenance or user permissions, local connectivity through USB drives or hardware maintenance. What are the causes of cyber risks? Lack of awareness and training, unprotected hardware and networks, lack of cyber discipline, remote attacks by criminals, access control to networks, lack of software and system monitoring, port security access control. Let's understand the motives behind the attacks. Bad actors can have a range of motivations which includes financial incentives, competing companies, criminal organizations, pirates, terrorists, political actors pursuing a certain agenda, accidental breaches, carelessness, inadequate training that is failure to practice good cyber hygiene. Assets under threat are information, software, people, business reputation, shore and ship systems for example systems related to navigation, communication, cargo handling, propulsion steering and auxiliary machines. And the consequences are safety of ship is compromised, effect on mission critical operations, impact on safety of personnel, financial loss due to loss of assets and downtime, organization's most valuable assets that is personnel, customers, 
and valuable client information are at risk. Loss of confidential data to competitors, pirates, unlawful persons, effect on critical infrastructure facilities, possible legal implications and possible environmental impact. As per maritime regulatory bodies, industry has to take the risks seriously and make sure they are understood and mitigated before a major incident happens. Well, talking about cyber risk and ship insurance, most insurance policies include a cyber risk exclusion clause. The clause excludes cover for property damage and business interruption. So what's happening globally? to address maritime cyber risks. In order to assure cyber systems, International Maritime Organizations, IMO, and International Association of Classification Societies, IACS, have taken certain initiatives. IMO, through MSC, lays emphasis on risk management and calls for holistic approach from design stage. IAX establishes Cyber Systems Panel to address issues arising out of use of cyber systems on board. IR class is represented in Cyber Systems Panel. IR class has developed guidelines to address cyber safety based on IMO guidelines, ISO 27001, IEC 62443, NIST and industry best practices. IR class offers following services to manage cyber risk, thus ensuring a cyber safe ship. Gap analysis for ship and land-based installations through review of risk analysis, network configurations, Policies and procedures on board. Ship inspections for new builds and ships in service. Inspections and certifications for land installations. Assign additional class notations for ships. Hardware and software product certifications for cyber systems. And that's not all. IR Class Academy your partner in maritime professional development now offers world-class cyber safety and shipping course with the following clients. Ships and shipping companies, shipbuilding and repair yards, port sector, navy fleet and coast guard. The course coverage focuses on the following. Cyber risk and vulnerability. Steps to mitigate the risks. Preventive measures to ensure cyber safety. It is increasingly important for a maritime professional to be aware of the cyber threats and be vigilant. This course provides a unique perspective and insights in addressing the cyber risk associated within the maritime industry. A course from IR class is well recognized in the global maritime community. IR class is amongst the strongest brands in India within the shipbuilding, maritime, merchant shipping, as well as defense sector. It has a strong brand recall and commands high level of respect with the maritime community. IR class is seen as an industry through leader with strong presence in the safety and quality domains. Within a short span of time, IR Class Academy has established itself amongst the leading providers of maritime education and training.